All right, everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Hope you guys enjoy the first Eivor, bit. Did you bring us any treasure? Shut up. Hello, Eivor. Hey. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. What? So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teachings, I'm sure my name's Arnold Slay. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good. But too many words upsets the rhythm. Fuck now, you! Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... What?! Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly, and you told me you would kill me. At times, it might be best to... remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. Like for becoming far more than you can bear. I will flight. I don't fucking know! I to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you're happy to help you. Yeah, fuck you. I was not very good at that. Although rhymes seem right, I guess not. Parkour! Eivor! Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. And now you're a girl! That should do it. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time.
The clan's having to see Ivor return. Speak to Ranvi. Where's that? Where's he at? This way. Must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Hey guys, sorry. Play a seer solace. What is my like main objective, Liv? Okay, well. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Shh. Tattoos? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh shit, I, I, I have tattoos. <laughs> Ew, why would I want one on my fucking lip? Who gets a lip tattoo? What are you, fucking Batman? Good. Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Where's Family Sears? Or the fuck it's called. Okay. Oh. 
Is there no one here? Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Think you can match horns with me? Oh shit, I'm on the first fucking round. Oh fuck, I'm drunk! I'm drunk! <laughs> Hey, she fell I over though! I drink every one of you! Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed them down. This land will never prosper right while clan battles clan. Who would like to hear a story? Who would enjoy a tale of the gods? There has always been war. Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! Is there no one who will go around with me? Oh, this is Seer Solace! <laughs> okay, where's that at? How do you run with a horse? Reach Valka's hut. Okay, I can do that. Look, I'm not even controlling. I'm not even controlling the horse at all right now. It's doing it for me. Moving the camera, but I'm not actually steering the horse. Now I am. Now I'm steering the horse. Songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. 
For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I've had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak. With a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly. And unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. All right, here we go. What are we doing? Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? They're hallucinating. That's what it does. By the scenes of thing, it looks like it's an hallucinating thing. Drink. Right? I think? I don't know. What is this? Erder. He must be freezing his frickin' tits off. It reminds me of God of War, just like how it plays. I mentioned Midgar, Valhalla. Fixed. Plus his hand. See good. That's his hand. His whole arm actually. Ew. 
Did he chop his arm off, maybe? Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Javi. Who's Javi? What the fuck is that? That was a huge wolf. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Show your tits. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm-hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir. Spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life. Your path. What lies before you. And where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla. For which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No! This is wrong! Oh, you misunderstand! That cannot be right! You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Okay, that was crazy. No, I don't I don't want my main to be Girls, girls. What's this? Stat nodes approve base stats. Okay. Cool. Now what? What's codex? Database. Oh, okay. 81 people. All right, cool beans. Uh...
Okay, so my okay, I see my quest. I got it. So it looks like he has a foster dad, I think. Okay, here we go. Follow the road. Horse is gonna do all the running for me. And I'm gonna do nothing. Hey, you know what? If I end up liking this one, I might do more Assassin's Creeds. We'll see. If I end up really enjoying this one, I'll do like Odyssey, I'll do uh one for that origins maybe some of the older ones are really good i heard <gasps> we'll be gone i know like there's one that got remastered a, a little a while ago hey we'll see because a lot of them are like playstation plus members so i can like play all of them I know I'm way off with these games. I know I should be doing, like, the older ones first, but it's fine. They must be finished now. <laughs> the king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubio. Oh boy, got thrown the wise. I'll take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the. May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor. Come forward, and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Oh my goodness gracious, girl! Okay, family matters. Are we under attack? Hey, 
Hey, careful with that one. Hey, bud! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. Oh, have you been warring without me? Oh, Sigurd! And you, salt-cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. This is just a start. Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagart, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotve the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Very poetic. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn, for this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. There are others to speak with. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship 
had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basil. My car just gone. Python, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. Hey, grown. <laughs> All right, good. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you in these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. <laughs> this brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on.
Hidden blade? Oh, fuck! Do I get that shit? This clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Nicely done. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in oh, mind. Oh, this is a takedown tool. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. I can do that. Oh, I actually gotta like, okay. That's it. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Okay. your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. A perfect strike. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Okay, let's go. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when... I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia. All greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. 
good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotvis warriors! What happened? We're in attack? Shit, fuck, ow, fuck, shit, ow, fuck, shit. There, maybe. Bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report. Right here. Oh, is there another one in this area? That's all of them. That's just a that's just a dummy. They're just dummies. See you, old friend. Fuck, is that all? Is that them? <laughs> Fuck. 
Found him. Sigurd must know about this. Found him. There's three of them. All right. Good, good. Spies are dead. Day we wait. Kjotve grows stronger. I. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save all. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nartfall, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. To the Swan Road. No raising the sail here. Sing, my ravens. Run up the sail! Warriors! Drengi! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end! Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow! But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love. In this glorious fight, today we seize Nochtfall from Kjotve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Ward. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate for both our lives. We have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. Hey! Enemy forces stationed there!
Okay, go to objective. We're a little off course there. Nice. Pillage could joke bees. Find burn the supply wagons. All right, here we go. a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. 
I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjörn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kjotve is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. I like him. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. All right. Eivor, give us a hand. Job. Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. All right, pumps at the ook of boot, 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 boot. Melee damage. Okay, guys, I'll do this tomorrow, so peace.